My name is Jenna Ashkowitz, and I am an actress, producer, um, podcaster, singer, extraordinaire. <laughs> My first job in the industry was a Toys R Us commercial and a play school um, print ad for a magazine. I was three and my parents put me in. So an agent got me a call. I went and I booked it and that's the story. My most valued mentor is my high school theater teacher. His name was Jim Hoare. He was, um, he made such a massive impact on how I see um, my craft, how I uh, appreciate the art of theater and Broadway, um, not cutting corners. He told me to not sweat the small stuff. He was uh, there to kind of teach me how to grow a backbone, which you really need in this industry. Um, and he just was my number one champion. The most impactful project of my career. Uh, gosh, I mean, I think... I think Glee, <laughs> what I would have to say, was probably the most impactful um, on the masses. Um, I know and understand now what Glee did for a lot of people and a lot of fans out there who have shared with us. It was impactful on my life, obviously, completely life-changing and um, gave me this incredible family that um, I still love so much and uh, kind of opened a ton of doors for me um, along the way. My favorite movie or TV show and why? Oh man, um, off the top of my head right now, I, I just finished watching Breaking Bad. I've got to say from beginning to end, the performances were extraordinary. The writing is incredible. It's just, it's one of those shows that you could just watch over and over again and you discover new things. Um, and I just, I really loved it. Another one is Sons of Anarchy, I think is kind of similar in that way. Um, but I really, I'm a huge, huge TV watcher, so... That's a hard question. What's the most interesting, exciting development in entertainment right now? Oh my goodness. Um, I think the most interesting and exciting development in entertainment is, I think this revolution that we're going through, um, it may feel a little muddy right now um, in terms of equity, diversity, and inclusion. I think it may, we have a long way to go but I think the conversation is there. I think the awareness is getting there and um, just seeing more women of color being recognized, people of color, um, LGBTQ um, artists. I think it's just, uh, it's, it's becoming this incredibly important topic that um, we, are, we are starting to make headway on. I think the most important people that are entering the industry right now are the young people who are just getting started um, because you are the wave of the future. You are going to set the tone for us. You're going to teach us the ways, um, you know, you see the world and the industry in a different way than some of us who have been in it for a really long time. And that's really exciting. Your voice is incredibly um, important. It's crucial. Um, and you've just got to keep pushing against what we're seeing now and, and keep pushing those, those barriers and those bars. My advice for people trying to break into the business, it's really hard. Um, and I, I don't know that it gets any easier, um, once you've broken in. Um, but I do think you have to just keep going. I think the one word is to persevere. There are a million times that I just thought, my God, I'm never going to get my big break. Um, this is, this is so hard. Every job I would get, there would be something that you're like, I'm getting closer, but I'm not quite there. Um, and I'm not even sure that I feel like I've really gotten there yet either. <laughs> um, so that's, that's also real, but, um, just keep going. I think the biggest challenge in my career, I, I mean, I can go with the obvious that I'm, um, a woman, a Korean woman. Um, that was really difficult being, kind of the token growing up, that was really hard. Uh, breaking in, just knowing that 
there were going to be less opportunities for me than to begin with. And in this industry, it's already hard. Um, I think that was definitely the biggest challenge for me was kind of trying to break the mold and have people see me for me and not for the Asian nerd or the girl, the tech girl or the martial artist and really trying to show them that I, you know, I'm so much more. The most important skill that somebody can develop in this industry, I think is a backbone, uh, thick skin, right? That's my dog. Um, just really learning that it's not always about you and that it could be a million other things as to why you didn't get the job, understanding that rejection is going to be more common than acceptance and knowing that doesn't reflect on your self-worth. Advice I would offer my younger self, be kinder to myself, give myself more grace. I think um, you can be so hard on yourself and I am my own worst enemy as a lot of artists are in this industry um, just because it is so um, challenging, but just to give myself that room to grow and know that I will get there. Um, I think I, I would have really benefited from knowing that a lot earlier.